السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ان آور ٹو ڈیز کلاس ٹوڈے آئی ہیو ٹیکن دا فسٹ چیپٹر آف آور کیمسٹری پورشن کیمیکل ریئیکشنز اینڈ اکویشنز ان آور ڈیری لائف وی سی مینی چینجز اراؤنڈ اس ڈفرنٹ ٹائپس آف چینجز ٹیک پلیس ان آور سراؤنڈنگس ایٹ آور ہوم ایٹ آور سکول ایٹ روڈ سائڈ فار ایگزامپل دا سموک کمنگ آؤٹ آف دا فیکٹریز دا سموک کمنگ کمنگ آؤٹ آف آٹو موبیلز ایواپریشن آف واٹر melting of ice burning of food etc we can classify these different types of changes in a scientific way in two different categories one we call as the physical change and another we call as the chemical change now let me try to define both the types and types of changes by physical change we mean a process in which no new chemical substances are formed what it means a physical change is simply the change of state or the change in shape or the change in size it means the identity of the substance which undergoes a change remains unchanged for example melting of ice into water it is a physical change here the ice and the water are the same entity but in two different states ice is the water in solid form and water is the wa- in liquid form so melting of ice does not result in the formation of any new substance the properties of the initial substance does not change so it is a physical change similarly we can take the example of evaporation of water evaporation of water into water vapor or again to two different forms of water water vapor is again water but in gaseous state that is the liquid water and the water vapor are the same entity so on boiling the water or changing the water into water vapor is a physical change chemical change by chemical change we mean a process in which the original substance lose their identity and form new substance with different properties or new properties what it means in a chemical change the initial substance undergoes the drastic change in its properties for example rusting of iron it is a chemical change because the rust layer which is formed on the surface of iron articles is something different in the iron itself is something different the properties of rust the composition of rust refers to its properties chemical properties by chemical properties we mean the composition bond formation linkage of atoms all these belong to the chemical properties of a substance 
rust is a brown layer of iron oxide which is formed on the surface of iron rust is a substance which has properties entirely different from that of the pure iron so rusting of iron it is a change of iron to the iron oxide so it is a chemical change similarly respiration the utilization of food or conversion of food we eat in conversion of food to energy in our body that is called respiration it is a biological term you may know it more clearly it is again a chemical change similarly burning of coal or burning of wood it is again a chemical change when we burn the wood the wood gets con the uh, wood which contains carbon the carbon of the wood or the carbon of the coal gets converted into you know hydrogen gas is liberated carbon dioxide is liberated and the residue is left behind so it is a chemical change wood coal or coal has some different properties whereas the carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and the hydrogen gas which is liberated by burning of coal are different substances their physical and as well as chemical properties are different so the, these are the three examples of chemical change you can also in list i gave you a you may write down an assignment for you people please do at your home aur fir isko group mein submit karna aap 10 10 examples le lena physical change ki bhi aur chemical change ki do column pane le la ek side mein physical change dusre side mein chemical change physical change wale column mein 10 examples aapko cite karni hai aur chemical change wale column mein bhi aapko kitne examples cite karni hai 10 examples ha main dekhunga aap mein se kaun se students acche honge jo acche bache hain wo group mein apna assignment submit karenge good aapko apni surroundings pe thoda bahut soch vichar karna hai तो आपको सारी की सारी अपने घर के आसपास अपने सराउंडिंग्स में अपने माले में ये चीज़ें ये चेंजेस आप फाइंड कर सकते हैं नाउ बेसिकली वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू नो व्हाट वी मीन बाय केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड व्हाट वी अंडरस्टैंड बाय केमिकल इक्वेशन एंड दीज आर सम preliminaries to study the concept of chemical reaction before understanding chemical reaction we must be well aware about these different types of changes that we discussed here physical as well as the chemical change now we are in a position to define what we mean by chemical reaction by chemical reaction we simply mean a process which involves a chemical change the process involving a chemical change is called a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction we have two types of substances basically the initial substances which undergoes change we call as the reactant two types of substances in a chemical reaction or involved first i have listed here a reactant is the chemical substance is taken originally or called reactant that is the substance the substance which undergoes a change a chemical change that is called a reactant or the new substances which are formed we call them as products products are the new chemical substances formed good basically you should uh, remember one thing what happens in a chemical change or what happens in a chemical reaction basically chemical reaction involves the breaking and making of bonds between atoms to form the new substances some old bonds are formed some old bonds are broken down some new bonds are formed between the atoms so by this way this process of breaking and and making of bonds results in the formation of new substances and we call 
that a chemical change or a chemical reaction. So we can also define a chemical reaction as the process which involves the breaking and making of bonds between the atoms to form new substances. Let us take some examples of a chemical reaction. For example, I have taken here the example of burning of magnesium ribbon. Magnesium, the non-metal you have, its symbol is Mg. Usually, in the laboratory, mein, magnesium in the form of a ribbon is Ribbon you know all as a wafer or a wire. This is what we Wire ki shakal mein, ya ribbon ki shakal mein, magnesium humare paas devotees mein available hota hai. Hota kya hai jo magnesium, ye readily oxygen ke saath combine ho ke oxidize hota hai. To oxidize hone ke natije mein, magnesium ke baahir, iski surface pe, ek thin layer of magnesium oxide form hoti hai, white layer hoti hai ye white layer of magnesium oxide magnesium ke surface pe jam jati hai basically it is due to the oxidation of magnesium it gets readily oxidized now we want to burn the magnesium in air before burning magnesium ribbon it is cleaned by sandpaper so as to remove the layer of magnesium oxide. Just me, I have told you that magnesium readily ox oxidizes. So, its surface a white layer of magnesium oxide jam jati hai. Jab bhi aapko laboratory mein magnesium ribbon ko burn karna hoga, to aapko pehle isko sandpaper se, jisko hum ragmal kehte hain, usse saaf karna padega. Kyunki iske baar pehle isi magnesium oxide layer hoti hai, us layer ko रिमूव करने के लिए आपको मैग्नीशियम रिबन को सैंड पेपर के साथ रब करना होगा ठीक है सो वी रब द मैग्नीशियम इन ऑर्डर टू क्लीन द लेयर ऑफ मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड फॉर्मड ऑन इट और मैग्नीशियम रिबन इज क्लीनड बिफोर बर्निंग इन ऑर्डर टू रिमूव द वाइट लेयर ऑफ मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड Good. Now see, magnesium burns in air to form a powder of magnesium oxide. We can write a word equation here. Magnesium plus oxygen oxidation means burning of magnesium in air. Magnesium plus oxygen, it will give you magnesium oxide. Here, magnesium and oxygen these are the initial substances which undergo the change. So we call them as reactants. So magnesium plus oxygen, these are two reactants. Magnesium is one reactant, oxygen is the second reactant. Thik? Both of these reactants undergo the chemical change and form magnesium oxide, which we call as a product. So you can have a clear concept of reactants and products by this example. Magnesium and oxide here, which undergo the chemical change, are called reactants, and the new substance here, which is formed, magnesium oxide, we call it as a product. Good. So I can take another example of a chemical reaction. For example, burning of coal. Coal is rich in carbon. About eighty percent of the coal is carbon. So it means carbon is combining with oxygen. Carbon plus oxygen again, carbon and oxygen are two reactants which undergo the change. They result in the formation of carbon dioxide, carbon and oxygen. Thick. This carbon dioxide will be our product. These are two, two best examples of what we mean by chemical reaction. Good. Now Whenever a chemical reaction takes place, it can involve change in state, 
it can involve change in color or order of the substances it may involve the evolution of a gas it may involve change in temperature however both these four factors change in state change in color or order or evolution of gas change in temperature all of these processes cannot occur simultaneously that means it is not necessary that in a chemical reaction all these factors are involved some reactions may involve the change in state and some may not some may involve the change in order or color and some may not however the change in temperature has been found in most of the reactions now there comes another thing which we call as the chemical equation chemical equation is simply representation of a chemical reaction in chemistry we can express a chemical reaction by making the use of symbols and formula for a different reactants and products as you use the different types of equations in algebra quadratic equation linear equation what are these these are the in mathematics we call the equation is basically the they are, uh, um, come from the algebraic expressions here on the same way we can represent a, a chemical reaction by a chemical equation and a chemical equation is simply the representation of a reaction in terms of symbols and formulae of different reactants and products writing a chemical equation chemical reaction is written in terms of word equation pehle para set up chemical equation ko likhne ke liye you are basically transforming a chemical reaction into a chemical equation please remember it so what you have to do for the first step you have to write the chemical reaction in terms of word equation you can see here burning of magnesium in air please try to understand this statement okay let us take it later on our first step is chemical reaction is written in the form of a word equation good uske baad reactants are written on lhs left hand side with plus sign between them jaisa ki aap abhi dekhoge products are written on the right hand side with the plus sign between them reactants and product were separated by an arrow pointing towards rhs these are the four steps for a writing a chemical equation let me take an example again burning of magnesium magnesium burns in air to form the powder of magnesium oxide so burning of magnesium it is a chemical process or it is a chemical change so firstly i will write this chemical change or this chemical reaction in the form of word equation pehla step jo mujhe karna hai to pehle step mein aapko kya karna hai chemical reaction is written in the form of word equation burning of magnesium in air to form magnesium oxide ये आपकी रिएक्शन है ठीक है इसको आपको पहले लिखना है किस 
word equation form mein word equation means simply you have to write the name of reactants and you have to write the name of products reactants here are magnesium and oxygen magnesium in air burning of magnesium in air it means magnesium plus oxygen so i have written here magnesium plus oxygen or oh, i have written uh, magnesium and oxygen on the left hand side as i have discussed here in step number 2 reactants are written on the left hand side with a plus sign between them so i have written uh, written magnesium plus oxygen now it gives you magnesium oxide so the reactants are written on the left hand side and the product on the right hand side good aap dekh sakte hain ye aapka reactant side hai aur ye aapka product side hai theek hai to reactant side mein aapke magnesium plus oxygen hai reactants are written on left hand side with the sign plus sign between them wo magnesium aur oxygen ke darmiyan ek plus sign hai aur ye left hand side mein likhe ab jo product aapka hai wo right hand side mein hai magnesium oxide theek hai ab jo reactant aur jo products hai inko separate kiya jata hai ek arrow ke zariye ये जो एरो यहाँ पे आपको दिखता है दिस एरो इट इज़ पॉइंटिंग टूवर्ड्स द राइट हैंड साइड ठीक है सो मैग्नीशियम प्लस ऑक्सीजन आई कॉल इट गिवज मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड दिस इज आवर वर्ड इक्वेशन गुड नाउ सी द सेकंड स्टेप इज नाउ आई हैव टू रिप्लेस दिस वर्ड इक्वेशन बाय द सैम्बल्स एंड फार्मूले सो फॉर मैग्नीशियम आई हैव रिटर्न इट अ सैम्बल एम जी ठीक फॉर ऑक्सीजन आई हैव रिटर्न इट अम्बल ओ टू वो एम जी प्लस ओ टू गिवज यू मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड दैट इज एम जी ओ स्टैंड फॉर मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड सो इन द स्टेप नंबर टू आई हैव ट्रांसफार्मर द वर्ड इक्वेशन यूजिंग सैम्बल्स एंड फार्मूले ठीक सो दिस thing is what we called as the chemical equation so twice mg plus o2 this two comes for the for the balance of the equation that we will be going to discuss in the next class balancing a chemical equation theek aur wahan par hum dekhenge ki what is the need for balancing a chemical equation philal aapko yahan pe yaad rakhna hai ki twice mg plus o2 gives you twice mgo main isko aise padhunga twice mg plus o2 gives you m twice mgo this is what we called a, call it as a chemical equation good uske baad yahan par maine dusri example liya hai burning of coal pehli jo hum jo wohi do example jo isse pehli wali topic mein humne discuss ki thi burning of coal or it is a burning of carbon so what happens carbon combines with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide so our word equation is carbon crb and carbon plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide this is the reactant side this and this is your product side good this is the word equation now i have to transform this word equation using the symbols and formula so for carbon i write the symbol c for oxygen i write the symbol o2 gives you carbon dioxide and you know the formula of carbon dioxide is co2 it is co and subscript 2 it is subscript 2 it is not like this co2 agar aap aise likhoge co2 you are making a blunder mistake you have to write the subscript 2 like this you can see o2 you have to write like this o2 You have to write like this C O subscript two. Good. So C plus O two gives you C O two. This is another example of chemical equation. So this is our chemical equation C plus O two gives you C O two. Okay. आज के लिए इतना ही इंशाल्लाह कल बात होगी. बैलेंसड एंड अनबैलेंसड इक्वेशन के मतलब तो आप एक मेहरबानी कीजिएगा ये जो आपका है ये वीडियो काम वॉइस लेक्चर जो है ऑडियो लेक्चर है 
ये इसमें आपके यहाँ दो फीचर्स मिलेंगे आपको आप डायरेक्टली आप जो यहाँ पे हैं आप नोटबुक पे ये नोट डायरेक्टली आप कॉपी पेस्ट कर सकते हैं आपको ज़्यादा मेहनत करने की ज़रूरत नहीं है एक बात दूसरी बात आप इसको अगर कीन इस क्लिप को देखोगे तो अच्छी तरीके से मेरे ख्याल में आपको ये बातें समझ आएंगी कि मैंने यहाँ पे अच्छी तरीके से समझाने की कोशिश की है कि किस तरह हम एक वर्ड इक्वेशन को केमिकल रिएक्शन को केमिकल इक्वेशन में चेंज करते हैं करने के लिए हम पहले वर्ड इक्वेशन बनाते हैं फिर वर्ड इक्वेशन में जो रिएक्टेंट्स और प्रोडक्ट्स वाली चीज़ें होती हैं उनको सैम्पल्स और फार्मूले के ज़रिए लिखते हैं तो नेट जो हमारे पास रिजल्ट होता है उसको हमें केमिकल इक्वेशन का नाम देते हैं तो मेहरबानी करके आप साथ साथ वीडियो क्लिप को देखते देखते अपने पास अपनी रफ कापी भी रखिए और इन चीज़ों को नोट करते जाइए ठीक है ज़्यादा तबालत इसमें आपको नहीं पड़ेगी आप आराम से वीडियो क्लिप देखते देखते आप अपनी नोटबुक भी अच्छी तरीके से आप मेंटेन कर सकते क्योंकि आप मैंने जो दूसरी ये स्ट्रेटी अपनाई है एक नए तरीके के वीडियो क्लिप आपके सामने मैं रखता हूँ इससे आपको फ़ायदा होगा कि आपको एक आपके सामने नोट भी आएगा और आपको अंडरस्टैंडिंग में भी किसी हद तक जो है ना मदद मिलेगी ठीक है तो मेहरबानी कीजिए नोटबुक के साथ साथ मेंटेन कीजिए और जो आज का क्लास है इसको आज ही आप प्रिपेयर कीजिए आज का काम कल पर मत छोड़िए ओके थैंक यू अल्लाह हाफिज़